Next problem. We have triangle DEF, and we were asked to find side DF. And we were given an angle, and it is 39 degrees. So we're going to go from this angle, and we're going to label the sides. This is the hypotenuse, so I can always label that first if I want. Then an angle is made up of two sides. One of them is always your hypotenuse, and the other one is your adjacent. That makes this the opposite. So this time I'm working with adjacent, because that's the side I have, and hypotenuse, because that's the side I need. And out of my three trig functions, it's cosine that works with adjacent and hypotenuse. So that's what I'm going to use. So I say cosine of 39 degrees equals, and then I put adjacent, which is in this case is 20, over hypotenuse, which in this case is my x. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this over 1 so that it's a proportion, and I'm going to cross multiply it. When I cross multiply this one, I get cosine 39 times x equals 20 times 1. Ask myself, is x alone? And the answer here is no, x is not alone, so I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to go ahead and keep working Listen, until x is alone. There we go. Okay. So now I can cross this out because I've canceled it. I've divided cosine of 39 by the cosine of 39. That makes it 1. And now is x alone? The answer is yes. So that means it's time to pull out my calculator. When x is alone, it's equal to whatever I have on the opposite side. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do 20 divided by cosine 39. Remember, if you haven't already, especially if you're using a graphing calculator, to make sure you are in degrees because these angles are in degrees, and so we have to do our calculations in degrees. If you, for instance, for that problem, got 75 instead of 25.74, then you are not in degrees. Okay, you'll get a completely different answer. All right, next. This is from our note sheet. It says, example three, you try. So we're gonna go through those examples together. The first one asks me to find DF in my right triangle, DEF, and it gives me angle 51 up here. So here's the hypotenuse. The other side of my angle is always the adjacent, so this must be the adjacent. And this then has to be my opposite. If we want DF, DF that's the hypotenuse, that's going to be my X. So I need to find the hypotenuse, and I have the opposite. So, once again, I'm using sine because it deals with opposite and hypotenuse. So I'm going to say sine 51 equals opposite over hypotenuse. And that's my equation. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that over 1 so that I can cross multiply. And I get x times sine 51 equals 17 times 1. Is my x alone? No. So I have to keep going. I'm not ready for the calculator yet. I have to get x alone. So I'm going to divide on both sides by sine 51. Is my x alone? Yes. So now I'm ready for the calculator. So I'm going to do 17 divided by sine 51. And I get x is about. This is Anna Cubisic. Please report to E9, the yearbook office. Once again, student, Anna Cubisic. Please report to E9, the yearbook We're having office. more than our fair share of announcements today. So X is about 21.87. Okay, example B. ST. Okay, ST is right here, so that's going to be my X. This is the angle I'm using. It's made up of two sides. One of them's adjacent and one of them's hypotenuse. So first I'm going to figure out which one's hypotenuse. It's this one. It's across from the right angle. And that means this side must be the adjacent. So I'm going to be looking for the adjacent side using the hypotenuse. So I'm working with adjacent and hypotenuse. So that means I'm going to use cosine. So cosine of 42 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And I'm going to go ahead and set that up to be a proportion. 
and cross multiply to solve. When I cross multiply 1 times x, I get x. And on the other side, I get cosine 42 times 9.5. Is my x alone? Yes. So that means I'm ready for the calculator. So sometimes x is alone right after you cross multiply. Sometimes it's not. You need to let the equation itself tell you whether you need to do more. Let the equation, once you've cross multiplied, let the equation you get tell you whether you need to simplify some more or do more to get x by itself and what to put in the calculator. All right, example three or excuse me, C. This one asks me for BC in triangle ABC. It gave me angle 18 degrees. This side is adjacent to the 18 degree angle and this side is hypotenuse, which means the 12 must be opposite. So the two sides I'm working with in this one are the opposite and the adjacent, which means I will use the tangent because it's the only one that works with opposite and adjacent. So my equation is going to be tangent of 18 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Put that over 1, cross multiply, and I get x times tan 18 equals 12. Divide both sides by tan 18 because x is not by itself yet. x is not alone, so we don't stop. We don't stop till x is alone, and that's when we go to the calculator. So x is alone. I'm ready to do it in my calculator. 12 divided by tan 18 gives me 36.93. So that is the length of the adjacent side BC. Now just to point this out, that gives me this side here. If I wanted to, I could now keep going and find everything I needed to about this triangle. Triangles have three sides, they have three angles. I now know two of the sides. We have an easy way to find the third side when we know two sides. It's called the, high, it's called the Pythagorean Theorem. So if I have these two sides, I can use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the hypotenuse. Also, I know that this angle is 90 and this angle is 18, so I could also find this angle. Remember, the two acute angles add up to 90 themselves. So I could either subtract 90 and 18, both from 180, or just subtract 18 from 90. But either way, once I've done this, once I've used sine, cosine, or tangent once, I can pretty much find the rest of the triangle um, using things we already have in our tool toolkit. That's at least with this type of problem where we have one of the acute angles. All right, so next one. We have our acute angle that we have is the 27 degrees. The x that we're looking for is opposite from that. Remember, an angle is made up of two sides. One of them is the hypotenuse. That's the one that's across from the right angle. And the other one is the adjacent. So that's how I knew this was an opposite. All right, so I need to find the opposite. I have the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse means I'm going to set up an equation about the sine. So I've got, sorry if I'm making you seasick here, sine 27 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Then I'm going to cross multiply. When I cross multiply, I get 13.6 times sine 27 equals x times 1. So is x alone? Yes. That means I'm ready for the calculator. So 13.6 times sine of 27 gives me 6.17. Now let me point out to you one thing here. Um, a student just asked me this a few minutes ago, or it came up. If, when I'm cross multiplying, I can re really write that in either order. I could write it as sine 27 times 13.6. Okay, I kind of need the parentheses if I write it like this because otherwise it looks like sine of 2713.6. <clears throat> the other thing though that you need to be careful about is when I do this in my calculator, the order, 
I don't, it, it just kind of works out by itself. Let's, let me show you what I mean. If I do it the other way, sine 27, I cannot leave the parentheses open when I do the times 13.6, or it's giving me an angle that is that big. In other words, it's saying, oh, my angle is 27 times 13.6. That's not true. I have to close off the 27 if there's anything that comes after the sine expression. So, see, if I did sine of 27 and forgot my parentheses, I would not get 6.17. But if I do sine of 27 and remember my parentheses, then it didn't matter which order I did it in, I still get my 6.17. So just be careful about that. If you put it in your calculator where the sine of the angle or the cosine of the angle or the tangent of the angle is not the second thing, it's this first thing, then make sure you close the parentheses at the end of that expression or else it's not going to work out. And that is it for our examples today. Hope you had fun.